again good morning all today i am going to introduce you oracle developer cloud service they call it as devcs myself tom welcome to this video devcs product from oracle this product aiming developers project managers devops and stakeholders before diving deep into devcs i would like to tell you Oracle Developer Cloud Service is now call it as Oracle Visual Builder Studio. So let's see what's new in Visual Build Studio. In this integration that helps you to create a new integrated visual app development platform in much easier and cost effective manner. So you can see my screen. This is the landing page of DevCS. So I have entered my username and password. As you can see, this is the landing page. Here how some kind of news. And this transition of Visual Builder Studio is in progress. So there is existing customers of Oracle Developer Cloud Service. No, no more need to do anything because this is something like the changes has been back done in backend and this is the root level for the administration view as you can see how many projects are there these are all demo projects and the status and i can see the disk usage and everything and you this tab oci account so this is like you no know, from visual build studio you can able to connect the various cloud services like oci and storage so once i input uh, your tenancy id user id home region and everything and here you can able to validate so this means from this environment this product we can able to spin instance and we can store some logs and everything to cloud storage and here you can see i have one build vm is running so this product is a replacement for jenkins what i could say is you can see the status is stop and you can define one variable here so i have set it as 5 minutes so automatically after 5 minutes this machine will be going into stop state and that helps you to save money because whenever a new build initiate or triggered this machine will automatically start you don't need to bother about creating a new instance and all because you already given your oci account details here and you need to specify what all software is needed here that comes under here like virtual machine so here you can see i have added docker kubectl oci cli python and this is the default required build components so at any point of time i can configure my software that is running over this build machine so these are the selected softwares when i click here this will be added here so i can create my own template i can name it as my template and platform and after that i need to choose Uh, the components or software packages that needed, and then I need to come here in virtual machine to create a new machine, like quantity and what are the templates which I need to use. This template have the software or packages, and the region, the shape, and the default VCN which which VCN you want to add. this is a new feature for visual builder studio you can host your components over here so i never uh, tested it before so i will be planning to create a new video for covering this hosting part so that's for the organization tab and once i choose one project i can go to the project home so we call it is as a streamliner because from here you can see all the activities that are happening for this project like mergers commit build 
everything and you can see the repository which I can able to clone and access the git repo this is basically uh, the home of this project and we can add the maven repositories and this is something like a stats like how many open defects are, how many features are open task and everything and you can see the high level idea about how much commits have been happened for the last month who commit all those stats will be there and if there is any merge request open you can see here and you can see the old close merges and all this is basically the team like how many team members are there so this is for demo purpose we have only one team over here okay and this is a new feature which i never tested so i will be creating a new video later and coming to git obviously you all know about this because this is just a git which we normally familiar in gitlab or github so this is the readme file this has all the source code and at present we have only one branch called master we can create multiple branch and we can tag it and this is like merge request whenever i create a new code change i can able to create a merge request here and here i need to specify my repository and the source will always be master and what will be the review the review branch will be your new work in progress branch and then you need to click on next that will ask you some details like what changes need to be over there i need to put some kind of feedback or comments what are the changes what is fix or what whether it is a new feature like that after that uh, there it will create a notification to the person who need to merge okay and this is we can able to link our external docker registry so as i mentioned earlier this can be a this tool can be a replacement for jenkins so whenever you have a successful build you can tag and push it to any registry not only to ocir you can use docker hub or you can use aws registry uh, that's you can choose whatever you want this is the basic information which you want to integrate here so once you link that will be shown here build this is the part where i mentioned will be a replacement for jenkins so you can create n jobs over here the jobs are none it's like just a small piece of work and the pipeline is a combination or the structured form of jobs so when i start a, this pipeline what it do you can see in a visual manner like build pipeline build app then it deploy this is for the starting of the build and you can see the job stats and all let me go deeper into each job so this is a haladen implemented microservice implementation i will be uh, going to build this so you can see what are the changes build logs can be seen audit log if you want to configure you can configure here these are all the past build which i triggered earlier and this is just a trend okay so going to configure here loading the configuration part so you can see the repository and git repo and which branch i use this is something like an advanced feature and if the project is a parameterized i can able to add my parameter here whether it is string these are all common features or common param common things which we use in jenkins what action need to be done before build you can integrate sonar cube vulnerability assessment and this is the step what step so you can see i have integrated with my docker hub registry and i have given i have given the docker hub login details here and once i build the docker what i need to do this is the image name and version and pushing it like that so after build what need to do we can publish the result uh, to JUnit or git publisher 
you have the flexibility to configure this and when you click build now the build will start so I will just show you so you can see I have submitted a build so you can notice like I have given only this job to execute so in overview you can see waiting for the executor where is this executor as I mentioned earlier you can see a virtual machine so here the status change starting from stop that means your worker nodes will work only when there is a trigger of build happen so there you can save unnecessary cost because this is like an on-demand or dynamically this worker node come and you can configure everything much easier way I, I know how this can be achieved using docker in Jenkins also but the comparison which I feel is this is quite easy and straightforward when compared to other traditional Jenkins model so it needs some warm-up time to make the execution start because you know that machine is in stop so that will take some time to start like few minutes and this is something like an issues whether we can plan our sprint as I mentioned earlier DevCS or Visual Builder Studio can be used as a print planner so you can track your issues who is assigned how is assigned or what is the burnout chart or how it progress what are the dues everything we can add story points and this board can be used as a backlog groomer so this makes a project manager much easier way for identifying what's happening in the sprint or what are the components and everything so here you can add all the backlogs and which sprint you need to take up this all the configuration items are easy customizable so you don't need to worry about that you are free to do here and the next cool feature is like they have a good wiki so all the documentations and everything can be tagged here and the project administration this feature is only applicable for the owner or the admins of this group so you can see properties you can have some kind of announcement you can configure usage metrics will be there tags issue tracker repositories data import and export you can project in data from other tools and build majorly for CI administrations links feeds webhooks if you want to have some so whenever there is a change in code happen here at the time, same time if you are using Jenkins you can able to trigger a Jenkins job or you want to integrate with slack you can create webhooks from here so just click here and it will ask what type of webhook you need you can see these are the major integration that's already available quite straightforward just give the in configure your slack incoming URL and subscribe for what event create done finish and branches like this is majorly for administrating your git so as you see in DevOps lifecycle the DevCS or we call it as Visual Builder Studio is very much useful in most of the phases starting from planning building can be done release can be done deploy can be done so I feel this is a good tool from Oracle which you have to use you can easily integrate this your existing project you are planning to have a new new project ongoing or on upcoming you can easily adopt this tool uh, one of the drawback or what I could say like the new feature which need to be added here is monitoring because Oracle provides OEM but most of the companies using some other tools for monitoring starting from Nagios or sometimes Graphite, Prometheus, Grafana if Oracle can able to integrate the monitoring solution also inside this tool this will be a central location for your project 
because nowadays in jenkins you cannot use any documentation or you cannot plan your backlog grooming nothing can be done over there but this is a common shop central shop for everything stay tuned with me i will be creating some examples of how you can run your project in devcs and how you can reduce your cost by leveraging some other extra tools open source tools that integrate with devcs so thank you for watching